G'day legends, welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, this one is actually gonna be a bit of a quick one because I am running short on time. So we're gonna quickly review how I went in round 11 and it was a pretty good week too, just quietly. And then I'll be giving you my round 12 tips. So let's get into it. First game, Bulldogs, Swans. I backed the Swans by 36. They got a 14 point win, so Nearly halfway there, it wasn't too bad with the margin, so very good tip there for me. Next up at Optus, I backed in Frio in this one. Uh, Frio started the game very strongly. Collingwood came back, put on a pretty big score too, and then Frio came back and got another draw. That is the third draw of the season, I believe. So uh, crazy stuff, and it's also the second draw that Collingwood's had. So it's insane, man. This season has been wild. All right, next up, uh, Port Adelaide against North Melbourne. This was an easy one to pick, to be fair. North Melbourne are in all sorts. Uh, Port Adelaide just way too strong here, so credit to them. I backed in Carlton to beat the Suns. I thought the Suns had put up a bit more of a fight in this one, but they did go down by 29 points. So a little bit disappointing there for the Suns, but uh, credit to Carlton, good win for them. All right, next up, I backed Geelong here at GMHBA Stadium. Just, I don't know, the, the Giants are weird, man. Some weeks they'll be outstanding, and then the next they're just not up to scratch. So it, it's weird. Um, the, the Cats, I thought they'd be up for this game after getting absolutely tailed up by the Suns, but uh, they were not. Next up, uh, Essendon against Richmond. This one was an easy tip for me, to be fair. I thought Essendon would win. I thought they'd win... By a hell of a lot more than this, so I thought this one would be a cricket score. Um, but uh, yeah, Richmond were okay in this game. They were okay. I just, I don't know. I feel like Essendon are going to fall off eventually. I don't think they can stay up there. I, I just, I don't. Maybe it's because I haven't seen them up there for a very long time, but I just, I can't see them continuing this, to be fair. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> Not much, because one of these tips were horrible. Um, next up, I backed in the Lions to beat the Hawks. Hawks are playing bloody good footy this year, so credit to them for getting a win over the Lions, and they've actually got a very good record against the Brisbane Lions. So probably should have taken that into consideration a little bit there, but I thought the Lions would be too good here. Man, egg all over my face. Shout out to Hawthorne. Good win for them. Um, Melbourne Bears back in a big way with a 28 point, or sorry, a 38 point win over St Kilda. Very strong win there for them. Um, you know, they got tailed up by 30 points by the Eagles the week before, and they bounced back in a big way over the Saints. So good win for Melbourne. Uh, then finally, I backed in my Eagles. I gave them gave them a massive rap, and I said, you know, they beat the Ds. They beat one of the top teams in the comp. I reckon they win this. <laughs> Lucky we didn't lose by 100. That's all I've got to say. So a few bad tips there, a few good tips, a few lucky tips. Now we move on to round 12, a shortened week this week. So there is seven games, two, four, six, seven games. Um, first of which is the Thursday night game between the Port Adelaide Power and the Carlton Blues. Now this one should be a pretty entertaining game in my opinion. I think this one will be very close, but I am going to back in Port Adelaide here. 13 points is a pretty good margin, I reckon. So we're going to stick with that. Put Adelaide by 13 at Adelaide Oval. I think that is a good tip. Next up, we've got Collingwood against the Bulldogs. The Pies should win this game. I'd be surprised if they didn't. But, uh, yeah, look, I think, um, I think Collingwood, they, they can get the job done here. They should be able to get the job done. Next up, we've got Hawthorne against the Crows. I'm going to go left field here. I'm, pa I'm picking the Hawks. It seems to be every time I pick the Hawks, they lose. Every time I tip against them, they, they win. The opposite, yeah. So, they're probably going to lose this game now, but we'll see what happens. I'm back in Hawthorne. I think they can get the job done. Next up, we've got the West Coast Eagles against the Saints. Can we just play every game at Optus? Because I think we win this in a big way here. I reckon we have a massive bounce back game. I don't think it'll be more than six goals, but I definitely think around that sort of area. So, West Coast bounce back for me in a big way. Uh, Ri uh, Richmond, sorry. Geelong against Richmond. Geelong... And it's a cricket school. I think uh, Geelong are going to be pissed off, man. They're going to be pissed off with their last two losses. They're bouncing back, and they're bouncing back massively this week. 
All right, next up, we've got the Melbourne Demons against the Fremantle Dockers. Uh, this is a game that I think Frio could contest with Melbourne, but I do think the Ds will be too good at the end there, so I am backing them in for a win there. And then finally, we've got the Suns against Essendon. Looks like I'm backing in all the home games this week, guys, or sorry, all the home teams. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably going to be wrong about a lot of these, but we're giving it a go. So... Port Adelaide 1 to 39, Collingwood 1 to 39, Hawthorne 1 to 39, West Coast 1 to 39, Geelong 39 plus, Melbourne 1 to 39, and the Suns 1 to 39. Guys, let me know who you're tipping down below. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, and as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.